Right, so I'm going to show you how to calculate how many days there are between two different dates using Excel. And I'm going to do that in Excel 2010, I'll show you that in 2003, that's for Windows. And on the Mac, I'm going to show you how to do that as well on that too. Now, with all of these, we're going to calculate the date from today's date to when the Olympics start in London. And I'm going to do that. Firstly, I'm going to put in the date that the Olympics starts here. And I believe that is the 27th of July 2012. I could just type another date in here, but I'm going to actually select it as a function. I could choose it by going into Insert Function. And from here, I can go to my Date and Time category, which I happen to be on already. I can scroll down, find this function here called Today, and click on OK. When the function arguments come up, there's nothing to fill in, so just click on OK. There is today's date, and as I've mentioned on other tutorials, when you reopen this on a different date, it will put that date in there automatically. That is the purpose of using the Today function. I could, and I'm just going to delete that, in Excel 2010 and also in 2007, go to the Formulas tab here, which I'm already on, choose Date and Time, and it is a bit further down here, so I'm just going to come down here like this, so you can actually see it. And I'm going to click here, and you'll see there is the Today function, which again does the same thing, it just inserts it, the function arguments are blank, so I click on OK. To do the calculation, to work out how many days there are, oh, and by the way, you could have just typed in the function, as you get used to the functions, you could have just typed in equals today with the open and close bracket. So to do the calculation between the two, very simple. Like any formula, you'd start it by typing in equals, and this is the same in all of the Excels that I'm going to show you. Click on the Olympic state there, press minus, and then you click on today's date. I'm going to press enter, and you can see it's 189 days between now and when the Olympics start, well, at the time of recording this. So let me just take you to Excel 2003, and I, as I said, this is 2010, pretty much identical on 2007, but in 2003, something slightly different. So I'm just going to go to here, and I'm going to just get it so you can see the formula bar up here. Let's move that a little bit further. Now here I've already typed in the Olympics date, so all I need to do is fill in today's date here. Same again, I could just type it in, click on the insert function button just here, and up comes the insert function, and again I could just go to my date and time, choose today, click on OK, and when it comes up here with the function arguments, click on OK. Now. That's very similar, and you probably would have worked that out. However, if I do the calculation again, and I'm just going to quickly do this, when I do that, it's actually showing it as a date function because it's recognized that there's two dates there. That's in the older version of Excel, 2003. So you need to do that by formatting. So I could just go into Format here and choose Cells, or I could right-click on it and choose Format Cells there, and the dialog box comes up. Now you might be wondering, actually, why it's showing 7-7-1900. That is actually 189 days from the beginning of the century. Okay, so from the 1st of January 1900. That's the last century, not this one. So that's why it's showing you that. Now, to fix this, I'm just going to click on this general at the top here, that category, and you can see as a sample it says 189. It's exactly the same if you're doing this on Excel for the Mac, if you need to fix it there as well. And I just click on OK. So that's how you do that, and you can see that it would automatically change. Now, if I was to overtype this and put in any other date, I'm going to put in the 1st of May 2012, you can see that date has updated automatically. Now, to do this on a Mac, very similar. All you need to do now is click on the FX to bring up your formula builder, and again you'll see that it's got today there, it's one of my most recently used, but I could scroll down to see it in my date and time category and find it there. And on the Mac what you need to do is double click on it. You could also search for it by going into the top there and typing it, and again just double clicking when it comes up. It's not going to come up with any dialog boxes for the function, so you just need to press enter. And again, 
you just simply do your calculation. Type equals, click on the first number, press minus and click on the next and press enter and hey presto. That is how you calculate the difference between two different dates in Excel on all the different versions.